this young Yemeni boy is one of the 20,000 killed or disfigured by landmines every year. There are over 110 million deployed landmines in countries from Cambodia to Colombia. This is Ivan, a demining worker, hand clearing a minefield with the most common method, a metal detector and brush. This method results in dozens of workers killed and injured each year. Landmines can also be cleared mechanically, but these machines have changed little since World War II. The machines destroy landmines by brute force, causing severe damage to farmland. These are extremely heavy and difficult to get into and out of theatre. Overall, landmine clearance has always been dull, dirty and very dangerous work, which makes it perfect for a lightweight autonomous demining robot, which will autonomously navigate the minefield spraying safety lane markers and detect landmines buried at up to 300 millimetres depth, even if the only metal is the tiny firing pin, before destroying the landmine in situ by burning rather than detonating, before removing the debris, all without endangering human life. The partnership of Molten Labs and CSIRO builds off the existing CSIRO platform an electric utility vehicle fitted with proprietary 3D mapping technology for navigating challenging terrain. We've just completed the first of five phases. Phase one includes an ultra-precision method of navigation which involves depositing red and white lane markings and following those lane markings to ensure complete area coverage. The vehicle follows its own deposited lanes, overspraying the red danger lane marking with a white all safe lane marking. This allows for more accuracy than GPS alone and gives a clear visual indicator to locals where the safe boundaries are. Another successfully completed element of phase one was the graphical user interface that allows a user to mark up a designated area. The vehicle will then cover that area, ensuring all threats are identified. The next step of the joint venture between Molten Labs and CSIRO is Phase 2, a low-resolution magnetic detector with obstacle avoidance. This wide-area ground-following magnetic sensor detects any metal within its large loop. Because of its large area, it allows the vehicle to move forward quickly but still have time to brake if it detects anything. As the vehicle moves forward, ultrasonic detectors around the loop provide feedback to actuators to avoid ground collisions. This large area detector will detect any and all metal within its loop, but it doesn't know exactly where the target is within the loop. That's for a further sensor. The remaining phases are built around an articulated robotic arm mounted at the front of the vehicle. This multi-purpose arm can utilize a number of tools and can reach anywhere within the loop. In phase three of the project, once a hidden landmine is detected within the large area loop, the vehicle stops and the articulated robot arm selects a high resolution magnetic sensor capable of not only discriminating landmines from metal trash, but also of finally locating and determining the orientation of the landmine. Knowing the mine orientation is essential for the next phase. Once the location of the landmine is determined, phase four involves the robotic arm selecting a powerful oxyacetylene torch to burn down through the ground and destroy the landmine in situ. This destruction technique is called deflagration, where the explosive material is ignited and burns rather than being detonated. Deflagration can be confirmed from the color of the flame. Once the mine has been totally destroyed, only then does the articulated robot arm switch out the torch for a small scoop for removal and cataloguing of the landmine debris. When this phased project is fully completed, the work will guarantee a complete area coverage, detect, destroy and remove any landmines within a designated area. The key benefit is that all these tasks are fully accomplished autonomously operating 24-7 without doing the damage to the land that other methods do, which allows the area to return to being a productive field or path as quickly as possible. To learn more about humanitarian demining, contact CSIRO's Data61 Robotics and Autonomous Systems Group or Molten Labs.